Hello guys, I'm very excited to show you world's best Arabic language model which has been released by Cohere and its name is Command R. It is not a purely artificial intelligence model which is focused on Arabic language because it is multilingual and supports around 13 languages but the quality of its responses in Arabic is second to none. I have tried it out on various benchmarks and I have found out that the responses are quite correct and of very high quality when it comes to reasoning. So let's get it installed on your local Windows system and then we will see how to try it out. Before I do that, let me quickly give you a few lines introduction into this command R model. This is a new LLM aimed at large scale production workloads. Command R targets the emerging scalable category of models that balance high efficiency with strong accuracy enabling companies to move beyond proof of concept and into production. So if your company deals with both English and Arabic, then I believe that if you're looking to infuse AI into your business, this is one of the good choices out there. Command R is a generative model optimized for long context tasks such as retrieval augmented generation or rag in short and also external APIs and tools. It is designed to work in concert with industry leading embed and re rag models to provide best in class integration for rag applications and Excel set enterprise use cases. Okay, its context length is 128k and the pricing is quite low if you are using even the hosted version on Cohere, but we will be installing it locally. Other than Arabic, by the way, it supports 10 more languages and 13 other languages are also included in its training. Uh, pre-training set. Enough theory. Let me show you how you can get it installed locally. The tool which I am going to use is called as LM Studio. If you are not aware of LM Studio, I have done various videos around it, and you can search them on my channel. Now, I already have installed it, and all you need to do is to just click on this home button, type here command R, which is the model's name. And you will see that there are various quantized version just download any one of them which suits your requirement i have one gpu of 16 gb vram plus 32 gb memory so this one suits me because it's quite a heavy model now once you have done it then you can double check in this folder icon that it is loaded and then click on these three dots and from the top let's load this model so if it won't fit on your gpu it might crash so this is a test. Uh, I believe this should be okay on my system. It is. That is good. And you can see that it is already using just under 15 gig of memory. Okay. Awesome. Now, let me give it a few of the Arabic prompts. Now, for the Arabic prompts, first I will uh, translate them from Arabic to English just to show you because I also don't know uh, Arabic. So it will be good learning exercise for me. And I have generated it with the help of the another model now we are saying that life is uh, so we are asking that just translated that uh, following test has been translated into english life is beautiful with hope and love so let's see what it does with that one okay so this is basically language understanding i'm asking it to translate it into english so let's see if it is able to do it or not let's go here and then let's click here. Let's see what it come. You see that it has been translated into English perfectly. Now let's ask it one of the cultural question. Let me go there and I'll just remove this. It is says that explain the meaning and significance of the month of Ramadan for Muslims. I think the month of Ramadan is going on right now, which is a fasting month. Or Muslim, so let's see what it does. Let's print here. Oh, look at the response in Arabic. Really looks good. And if you are an Arabic speaking person, please let us know in the comment if you think that this is um, good enough uh, Arabic response. Is it the correct Arabic? And I know that you know different sort of Arabic is spoken in different parts of the world. So please also let us know as what do you think this arabic is uh, belong to for example whether it is from middle east or so maybe saudi arabia or 
uh, you know North Africa where okay let me copy it and let's translate it okay so yep there you go so Ramadan is a very important month of fasting for Muslims it is ninth month in the Islamic calendar yep Laylatul Qadr and all that stuff so I think and Muslims fast because of their humility to Allah Almighty and their covenant to with him and to train themselves in the spirituality of the Quran and deeds awesome beautiful stuff let's see another one where I will ask the model to interpret a proverb and I think this is some Arabic proverb which says patience is a key to relief okay let's check it out Let's copy it and go to Google Translate. Yep, so it says the proverb means that the patience can lead to solutions or success and is actually key to overcoming adversity. Impatience discourages people from rushing and asking for results directly and reminds them to take things step by step. What on? I mean, I don't have really words to explain uh, my appreciation for this model because this is simply out of this world. How cool is this? Now let's ask it a creative question. So I'm asking it that write a short story set in the old city of Cairo. Let's see what it comes with. Maybe Cleopatra. Let's see. Wow, look at the story. Oh my goodness. Let's wait for it to finish. Then we will. I don't think so. I can you know translate all of it in English because of the limitations of Google Translate. But I'll just pick some of it and see what it does. Okay. There you go. So in the heart of Cairo, there are small twisted alleyways away from hustle and bustle of Main Street. And then you can see that you know Hanan. There's a character, a girl character Hanan, who had lived alone since her grandmother died. Amazing stuff. I wish I could read it all, but it looks really good, really good. Okay, let's see uh, some sort of uh, scientific explanation of some task. I'm asking it to explain how blue light regulates the human biological clock. Let's go there, ask it. And look at the marvel of technology i have don't know this language but still i can easily understand and get it working just because of the tools okay, so let's copy it let's check it out there you go so blue light is a part of visible light so you can see that answer is spot on now let's see some uh what should i do next Maybe let's ask it something about traditional cuisine. Arabic cuisine is quite amazing. So I'm asking a description of the recipe for traditional dish from Morocco. Okay, let's check it out. There you go. So let's check it out now. And I will remove it. Now, the Moroccan recipe is Moroccan Tejain, which is a pro popular meal in Morocco that is cooked over a slow fire. Mmm, sounds very, very yummy. And this, this is all there is, you know, it is telling me the everything about that Moroccan cuisine. How cool is that? So if you are Moroccan, let me know if that this recipe is awesome. Okay, and if you are a Moroccan based in Sydney, please get in touch. We can taste it somewhere in Sydney. Okay, that's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this model's Arabic um, capabilities. I'm very impressed. I think it just passes it with flying colors, and you can install it locally 
on your windows system if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching